Where do teenagers from different communities find common ground and something constructive to do in the summer? You guys did all this? Yeah. All of us did. Wow. At the Sobrato Summer Learning Academy in East Palo Alto, a program of the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Peninsula. I'm so blessed to be here, and I thank God like I'm here and having fun. Funding from the Sobrato Family Foundation has doubled the size of this summer program, which this year added the innovative East Palo Alto Teen Center. Without this uh, Sobrato Family Foundation, we wouldn't have this teen center happening, quite frankly. We used an office building in the past, and the kids weren't really engaged. They didn't want to come. So we were able to, have, first of all, use this facility, turn it into this wonderful, um, outstanding career center for them over the summer. Then we've been able to hire some subject matter experts that have been able to help us with these career tracks. That's important to have them thinking long term. And I've talked to kids and they all seem to be really, really turned on by the program and I'm glad to see our money's doing good. The career tracks are designed to give students a taste of careers in the culinary arts, fashion, and media arts among others. I think this is actually really helpful for me. Because in Tech It Out, we're actually learning stuff on Adobe Illustrator, and that's also like college tools. The program encourages students to start planning for their futures. They went on a, a number of college tours where they met professors. Uh, they went to Cal State East Bay, they went to Cal Berkeley, um, and then they're asked to give portfolios about themselves, what they're interested in. Where do you want to be when you graduate? Students about to enter ninth grade, rising freshmen, participate in Stomp the Yard, which gets them ready for one of the biggest transitions in life so that they feel confident going into that first year. Oftentimes when they fail that first year, then they fail the, the remainder of high school. So making sure they have a successful first year is really important. Beyond goal setting, the new Teen Center offers an innovative approach to preventing conflict and building bridges among youth from different cities that are dealing with gang tensions. Particularly uh, this past year, there's been a lot of tension between Eastern Menlo Park, Redwood City, and Eastern Palo Alto. So bringing those folks together, these young people I should say, together in a safe place where they can get to know one another, where they can actually exist with one another and walk away from here at the end of summer saying, you know what, I can get along and I can work with someone from Redwood City, regardless of what they've heard. Just getting to know each other, that knowing that we're, we're all, we have similarities and we're all alike, I guess it kind of um, broke those, those boundaries that we had. John Sobrato visited the Teen Center to meet with students and to listen to their stories about how the program has become an invaluable summer experience. I think it's huge. I think it's huge for the young people to know that there are people out there who really want to invest in them and their future. 